day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah, hallelujah. To God be the glory for all the good things he's done in our lives. Hallelujah, praise the Lord. Love you. Amen. You know, that's it. That's that's the blessing about uh, getting into the word of God and, 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 and recognizing that, you know what? The truth will make you free. And the fact is that you'll always be able to, to, to go into the gospel of Jesus Christ, no matter what the circumstances is to preach the gospel. Because see, it's his will that must be done. Amen? Let's pray. Father, I thank you for this opportunity to come to worship and praise your holy name. Father, you said, hallelujah, when two or three are down in your name, you're going to miss them. I now invite you to see the present Holy Spirit as we get into this word and, and reach out and touch those that you want to be touched. Father, I, I, I just had the faith in you concerning how this word will be reaching the hearers that you want to reach, to, to, to lift up and bring those who, who are growing in Christ those who are struggling in this world, those who don't know you, is the fact that if we put this word out and we continue to just let the word of God go forth and that your will be done. I thank you for the mighty work you're about to do right now. Moving me out of the way and let the Holy Spirit have his way because it's all about you. It's never about anybody else. Hallelujah. And, and, and for us though, it's about the fact is that we now have a connection. And that's through Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 You know, I, I, I wanted it to, to show the title there that the truth will make you free. Because it's so important for us to know. And I found out as, as, as I was sitting there, I was going through a, a, a lot of the uh, uh, media uh, and seeing that there's, there's a lot of... Uh, uh, information coming out even about the, our history uh, and I'm talking about all men uh, and how uh, some, even some of the, the, the things of, of yesterday are buried in the history uh, of the languages that we speak, the customs that we have and, and with that we can continue to, to do his will. Amen? So one of the things too, and, and as I get ready to get into the study, uh, there, I, I put, I'm using a generator to, to uh, power up the vehicle. So just in case the generator goes out, uh, we just <laughs> we just close with, with that if it happens, okay? So if not, let's see if God can get His word out and His will done uh, for today. So as you see on the on my cover screen, and, and there were some people called the backdrop. Amen. The backdrop has the word of God on it. And the fact is that our intent is to make sense and understanding God's word. Nehemiah 8 verse 8 says, so they read the book in the law of God distinctly and gave the sense and caused them to understand the reading. And that's what I want to be able to do is give sense of the word of God. And, and, and get people to understand the reading of the word of God, doing it distinctly. But one of the things is that as I, I tell you what, and I think most of you agree, uh, living in this world, there's a lot of sensitivity uh, with people, the complexity of, 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 of the life, this world, and the, and the mental things that people go through that it's, it's, it's a challenge, it's a challenge. Sometimes when, when we, 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 we have, we realize sometimes that we have tradition that, that causes us to say, my way or no other way. Uh, we, 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 we don't even realize it sometimes when we think about it, how we want everything to be fixed a certain way. Uh, opposed to the fact is that there's a liberty in a sense in God, there's a liberty in God's word. And and one of the liberty is the fact is that number of us are enforcers of God's word. God does that. 
We're supposed to be, and we've been called to do what? Preach the gospel, the good news. And see, he didn't say, say the good news to select a group of people. He didn't say the good news is for uh, people with melanin in skin or lack of melanin in skin. He didn't say to, to, to preach it because somebody is a short or tall, straight or gay or whatever you call it. He didn't say not to preach to certain people. He said then say, preach the gospel. That's our job. Now he has given people over to a reprobate mind. That means that their minds are going to reprobate and they're moving away and denying the things of the power of God. But see, that's not, that's what God does to people. And the, the blessing for us is that when a person is ready to come back to Christ, we're supposed to be there to receive them and help them grow in the things of God. Because remember, the whole purpose of the ministry is to put the saints to do the work of the ministry. And therefore, I pray that, and I know that this word, his will be done on this platform and every other platform, regardless of how other people try to use the platform to do things uh, contrary to the word of God. Our job is, and even in even ministries, regardless of what they do, if they, it's what those words are sent out. It's those words. Because you can tell when somebody is out, you can tell when, when everything is just focused on opinion opposed to word. Well, as the word goes out, God is God sees. The incorruptible seed, the word of God is coming out and being being preached and being presented. Regardless of how other people may want to put it somewhere, he got it. And I think that's what the key to it is. Hey brother Addison, how you doing? God bless you, sir. I'm doing great in the Hey, God is good all the time, and especially right now, good brother. Especially right now. What makes it so special for this moment? It makes it so special. The fact is that, you know, you really give thanks to the fact is that there's people who didn't wake up this morning. There's people who can't walk this morning. But you know what? We can. Amen? Amen. And, and, and that's where we count our blessings and then just let them keep going up over and over again. Hey, don't let us, don't let me have to do the thing called John, you know, John said, hold my mule. And then you, you ain't got time to go through the whole list of the blessings of God. Amen? Amen. <laughs> hey, I'm uh, glad you're back. Uh, and and, and uh, you saw your, uh, your home going on uh, Facebook. Uh-huh. You now, so, uh, he said, see, like it was a, a, a good showing of people there, regardless of whether they showed up or not. But the bottom line is, uh, it's a whole going. Yeah. Now, God is saying, what is that? After the body is present with the Lord. And it's not our job. It's, it's just to say that to other people. I had a fraternity brother. He lost his uh, father uh, yesterday. Uh, and he, he, that was one of those who had a real good relationship with his father. Mm -hmm. So it, this one was a, it was a big hit for him, for losing his father. Uh, and I, and I, you know, I, I minister a word of God to him and concerning the fact is that, you know, we always say after the body, present with the Lord, and, you know, I think it's 2 Corinthians or 1 Corinthians uh, chapter 2, 9, which said, eyes have not seen or heard. You know of, of what God can reveal to those who love Him. You know, so so the bottom line is He's seeing, He's with those who have gone before Him. Amen. Mm -hmm. that, and and then we'll see them again on high. He, we'll see them when we caught up on in, in the air, <laughs> if we're alive when the Lord comes back, or we'll see them uh, later uh, when we when we actually have our point in time to leave this world. We all have a point in time. I, I, I wanted to, uh, the topic today is the scriptures that we may have been through already, but I, I just wanted to, to focus on the fact that, that the truth will make you free. And what comes from John chapter 8. Oh, I like that background. <laughs> the truth will make you free. And you know, I, the reason I think I, I, before you came up, I've said is that. Uh, a lot of people, man, the thorns, the crown, the 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 Jesus head. Uh, it's the mind game, you know. 
Life has so many complexities that goes on against people. Uh, that that's where the spirit of warfare is at, you know, in the mind. And and I think that's probably what that crowd was representing them trying to play a mind game to the to the to the to the extreme when they put that on Jesus' head, calling the crown. That's how the enemy wants to put spiritual crowns uh, of negative pain on our head. Uh, and people are very sensitive. And I think you know that too. So we, we have to work with that. But I was always, man, I was looking, I was sitting in a couple of TikToks where, man, that his, there's a lot of history we got uh, in, in our community, in our society, uh, culturally, uh, that has been hidden, that may sometimes, I, I believe, should be revealed concerning uh, our history. Uh, and I'm talking about man's history, God's history, good man, the different cultures is out there. Uh, I didn't even know, I don't know if I said the one to you where even talking about the, the this uh, Indian lady came up and uh, said that some of the, the, the states have, their names are rooted in Indian names, you know? Uh, and I, I didn't know that. I don't know if you knew that, but I, I didn't know that. Uh, China, and then I sent you one, I think I did, where in China, they were so they were they were trying to to, to prove that they were came up on their own, right? They were they they, they grew from from, from a, they didn't come from you know Africa, right? They they wanted to say that they that's their origin is where they're at. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And and the uh, DNA study had to tell a man, well, the, the data can't be denied. And we're looking for a specific DNA marker that only they will have, right? Mm -hmm. and, and that we, they shouldn't have any markers. They're trying to, I guess they're trying to pinpoint that marker that, that shows where Africa, you know, Africans have, do they have the same common genetic markers? Uh, and, and the answer is, you know what the answer is, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But but the fact is they they went for it they tried they they wanted to prove that they they I don't want to call it evolved I guess originated from the mainland China. And, you know, every time someone exhausts themselves in trying to disprove the Bible, they always prove it. <laughs> you know, if, if, if they are truly seeking the truth, they will find it. Yeah, yeah. And the truth is that they all originated from one place, and that's the create cradle of life, which God created man. Yes, sir. So, of course, uh, <laughs> they were going to find themselves right back to the Bible. <laughs> you know, um, it's it's amazing. You have astrophysicists trying to disprove the Bible and truth. Keep proving it right, right. It, it, it's just amazing. They all boil down to there is a being that created all this because you can't have perfection out of chaos. Yeah. There is no no. Big bang without a design bang. <laughs> Come, on, Come on, and you know what? And then let's go back even to the, the common man. All of us, uh, you know how you know what Jesus said. I'm the way. John fourteen six. I'm the way, the truth, and the life, and no one comes to the Father but me. Uh, how many of us have tried to walk this walk, doing it our way, and in a lot of cases. In the end, it, it points back toward his way, uh, and that's and I think that's and unfortunately, sometimes we gotta let people walk their path. Well, we have no choice, right? If, if they're grown, they have to walk the path they want to walk, and they have to choose the path of Christ on their own, uh, and, and there's no way around that, right? That, that's 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 how it is, isn't it? The people have to choose. They, they have to determine that. You know, I'm just like we just talk about the scientists. Man himself, each individual has to determine that this path 
is the only path to go. And, and I find a lot of cases that it's, it's kind of sad, but it's just it's a reality. And Christ is saying that your job is just to preach, teach the gospel. Amen? That That's our job. Amen. I tell you, <clears throat> uh, since we're on that subject, it, it, it's something that I have been uh, looking at. And... Uh, First Chronicles, no. Uh, First Thessalonians. First Thessalonians. Um, yeah. uh, where is the, the, uh, yeah. First uh, Thessalonians two thirteen. Okay. Um. I don't know how many times I read this, but it never stood out as much as it has uh, this particular time I read it. And um, I've been discussing it with some other people, you know, uh, to see what they think. And um, basically, it says, for this cause also thank we God without ceasing. Uh -huh. Because when you received the word of God, which you heard of us, you received it not as the word of me. Yes, sir. But as it is in truth. Yes, sir. The word of God, which is yes. worketh also in you that believe. Yes, so, sir. you know, Many of of mankind hear this and they think it's just something that's coming from man. Yes, yeah. well, that's that's and that's yes, yes, yes. And that there is no truth in. It. They, so, and, and they, you they know, can't. Go ahead. Let me interrupt you. They, and 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 that's why they. Really